Bowl Design and today I'm going to uh, try one of these Mountain House meals that I picked up that I haven't tried before. Uh, uh, macaroni and cheese. I know, don't roll your eyes. but <laughs> I'm going to try it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up using this atomic stove. Now, the difference between this atomic and all the other atomics I've sold is this one's packed with scrap pieces of carbon felt. Uh, I had a lot of, not a lot, but I had some scrap left over after doing the bongos, and uh, I filled this one full of the scrap pieces. Now, the advantage of this is it seemed to burn maybe a little more even, a little bit longer, but much more important to me is uh, two things. One is, <laughs> whoop, spun it backwards not smart. One is that once I fill it and go to spin it like this, it doesn't throw alcohol out because it's all trapped in the carbon felt. Uh, another thing is if I want to prime it after I fill it, I can tilt it right up on edge and prime it and once again the alcohol won't pour out because it's trapped in the carbon felt. The third thing is that once I light it and uh, I am cooking with it. If it tips over, uh, the alcohol doesn't spill. So it's a very safe stove from that perspective. So I'm going to uh, heat some water up here and split one of these packages of macaroni and cheese in half because I don't want to eat the whole thing. I just want to try it. I'll put the other half and bag it up and put it in my pack for a midnight snack or something. And uh, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Okay, it's been uh, just short of 10 minutes, and it said that it had to cook from uh, 8 to 9 minutes. Now, you guys are going to ask, this is a, an ever-new kettle. It holds about a pint. Uh, it's a pretty nice little kettle. I, I kind of like it. It's fairly efficient. It's fairly thin and made out of aluminum. Conducts heat quite well. I've never carried it in my pack, but uh, I might one of these days. Okay, well, let's get the close-up of this. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It doesn't look a lot different than regular macaroni and cheese. Maybe a little more foamy and fluffy, but... Uh. So, the proof is in the pudding. I wish Robert was here to help me with this. <laughs> I think he'd enjoy it. He's a real gourmet. First thing I notice is that the noodles are a little chewy. You know, a regular elbow macaroni, <clears throat> the noodles are real tender and, and bite right off. These are kind of chewy, almost like um, texture of uh, lightly cooked bacon. <laughs> a little bit of a chew to them. But uh, the flavor, it's not bad. Uh, good and cheesy. Good and salty. And other than the noodles being a little funky, um, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'd, I'd carry that in my pack. It's, it's a standard mountain house meal. Better than some, worse than others, but not bad. I, yeah, I'd, I'd have that for supper some night. Probably have something along with it.
So I'm Timmy from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. And more important than anything, have a really great day. Bye-bye.